Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Pisces for July of 2013. And this also applies if you have a Pisces ascendant. So my dear Pisces, Mercury is retrograde in your fifth house until the 19th of this month. So this is going to be a very good time for doing research, for studying, for learning something. It's a very good time for researching maybe into a new product or a service or an idea. It's going to be a very good time for writing. It could be writing music, it could be writing text, articles, a book. Very good time for that. Once Mercury goes direct, then the thinking processes are easier. So any important contracts that you need to sign, any important deals, important interviews, good time to do it is once Mercury's gone direct. For the first two weeks of this month, you've got Mars in your fourth house of home. This is still a good time to be putting energy into your home. You might be doing renovations, repairs, upgrading. You might be have itchy feet and be ready to move somewhere else. You might be planning a move. And during a retrograde is always a time when you complete something that you've already started. So if you've already planned the move, you may be moving this month as well. With Mars in that fourth house as well, there could be some disagreements in the home. Um, you want to be in charge and somebody else wants to be in control and you may have to find some way of compromising. Don't compromise too much Pisces, you have a tendency to give way, you that water sign, the fish go in two opposite directions usually. <clears throat> Make sure you're not giving away if it's something, giving way if it's something really important to you. For much of this month we've got a great deal going on in your house of creativity. Pisces, you are very creative people. Anything involving the arts, involving your own business, anything creative, anything with your hands. Very well aspected for you this month, especially for the last couple of weeks of the month with Mars there as well. Really good time to get something off the ground. Anything new that you want to do. The last couple of weeks of the month are really good to get that going, especially after the 19th of the month. With Jupiter in that house as well, could indicate a marriage coming up for you this year. Um, and also, possibility, strong possibility of a partnership. Um, for the first three weeks of the month we've got Venus in your sixth house. So this brings opportunities to you in the workplace, uh, somebody being very nice to you, also an opportunity for making the peace. Anywhere where there's been discord you should be able to make the peace. Uh, be careful about overindulging in sweet things, possibility with Venus in that uh, sixth house. Uh, to be fancying, craving things that you know you maybe should only have in moderation and you are having them in excess. So just watch out for that. It should be a good time for your health, good time for your physical health, physical well-being. Although I have to say Venus is often a little lazy. You might not really feel like doing a whole lot of exercise, but you should feel well all the same. For the last week of the month, get ready for this. Venus, planet of love, goes into your seventh house. Lovely time for meeting somebody, a special person, for doing something with the special people in your life, but usually on a one-to-one -one basis. So maybe taking a friend out, just saying thank you that they are in your life, appreciating somebody in your life who is already there and doing something loving for them. And that would bring you pleasure as well. So there you have it, my dear Pisceans. I know your finances are up and down. They will be erratic, but the more creative you can be, and you are creative, the more creative you can be, the easier your finances are going to get. So be prepared to take a risk and to be a little bit more creative, to think outside of the box. Your ideas are often excellent. For you, it's just a matter of following, following through with them. So there you have it, my dear Pisces. I wish you a great month. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you to those of you who come for readings, who sign up for my free newsletter, who pass these videos on and make comments. I greatly appreciate it. Bye for now.